welcome back. So what I've got today is my great grandfather's axe. This is an American Axe and Tool Company from Glassport, PA. From my research, it is from the original factory, which was in Glassport. It's from 1889 to 1921. So this axe is at minimum 102 years old. When I inherited my great grandfather's axe, it was extremely rusty. I didn't notice any markings on it whatsoever. It had a store-bought handle on here with lacquer and a sticker. So I thought it was just some plain Jane, you know, Sears and Roebuck or something axe. Uh, I went ahead and wire wheeled the head. And when I did so, I noticed that it says American Axe and Tool, Glassport, Pennsylvania. And again, that means that this head is a minimum of 102 years old. And I'll throw in some photos of the history from the, the factory. I don't know anything about how this axe was hung. I don't know whether or not the wedge was glued in. I'm gonna to attempt to drill it out and see if I can preserve the handle and just remove the wedge. Yeah, this is interesting. I've never done this before, so I don't know, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, I'm so afraid to drill too deep into into this. That's worst case scenario. I can always buy a new handle and start over, right? I have absolutely no idea how deep that wedge goes. So I'm just, I switched to a very small drill bit because I know the wedge is tapering and getting smaller. All I'm trying to do is just slowly drill it out. found this railroad spike and I was hoping that was going to work but it looks like I'm going to have to modify it which is going to be simple enough I just don't have time to do it right now but I think I can get it to move yeah it's moving there it is I think I can pull it out now here she comes All right, I don't think I've burgered it up too much because I'm going to be wanting to take off about half an inch anyways. Well, I got the axe handle out. Um, <laughs> messed it up a little bit. I wasn't quite paying close enough attention and the back of the handle was rubbing on the slide of the vise on the way out. I think there's enough meat here in the, the handle that I can clean it up. Worst case scenario, I just do a new handle. But I'm going to go ahead and proceed with the project and see whether or not I can drop the head and hang it proud with a decorative touch to it. Well, I used the draw knife almost exclusively on the last project, axe project, so try to learn a little bit more about the spoke shave. I have to figure out how to set that right. That might be too much. Trying to straighten out this kerf a little bit and make sure it's completely cleaned out. 
because it's all kinds of messed up. Okay, I got it fitted and I repaired the damage that I caused whenever I removed the head. Remember, I really messed up the back of it here because it was hitting on the slide of the vise. But I've got it fitted. So I'm gonna remove the head, fit a wedge to the head. And this is a really small eye. Um, I had to guess. You can't see that, can you? Oh, I had to guess, it's probably about two something inches. I'm not sure what this head weighs, but uh, that eye is remarkably small. <clears throat> the kerf cut that was in here was really messed up. I might try to widen it just a touch more and stick a big wedge in there, but it's fitting pretty good. So like I said, I'm gonna pull the head off fit the wedge, reburn the handle, and we will proceed. Have you ever envisioned something in your head and not know whether or not you can pull it off? Well, that's kind of where I'm at right now. I want to do a decorative wedge and I would like to have four pieces decorating it because I'm the fourth generation to have this axe. I just hope I can pull it off because I think it'll look cool. try to get in here and show you what I've done. Um, I first sank the 308 case. I hollowed out the wood and I drilled pilot holes going in different directions as uh, an anchor point. Um, I cut part of the 308 case out and sunk a 22 on top of it. Did the same thing with a 556. It does look to me that the 556 got deformed. I'm going to try to I reshaped that a little bit and then I sunk another 22 on top of that. My plan is I'm going to color a different colored epoxy in each of these. Earlier when I said I had something envisioned, I just didn't know if I could pull it off. Well, I was not able to fix or correct deformation of the shell casings. So they look kind of wonky. Um, the colored epoxy, hopefully that'll hold up. You can get it out there and test it and find out. So I took it out chopped wood with it for about 20 minutes edge I'm happy with the edge I really like the way the handle turned out even though I botched it trying to take it out of the vise I think it shaped out all right the epoxy the paint filled epoxy hopefully that's going to focus that held up it didn't budge so that part of my thought process worked it just doesn't look great can't win them all. Um, it's a learning process and I learned a lot doing this one. So next time maybe it'll turn out right. For me, even though it did hold up, uh, the way I hung the head, it's solid. I'm happy with that. The only thing I'm not happy with was the deformed shell casings and I could have 
cleaned out the shell casings a little bit better. It looks like I might have left a little bit of wood in there because you can see it around the epoxy on two of the shell casings. Um, again, it's a learning process. I had fun doing it. And maybe I won't make the same mistakes on the next one. So I appreciate y'all tuning in. Share this with somebody who, think, who you think might like it. And until next time, get out there, save something from being forgotten, and live a big life. Man, that makes me sick. Can't believe I did that.